Many believers are selfish and self-centered. They do not realize that Jesus called us for a purpose, for Him to live in us and through us to shine into this world to bring light in darkness, to expose the wicked works of darkness and to lead people to the light, Jesus Christ Himself. We are the light of the world. Jesus said, I read from Matthew chapter 5, verse 14, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do men alight a lamp and put it under the peck measure, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Through our works and our righteous deeds, we must let our lights shine and glorify God. That is our purpose. We need to serve that purpose. But many believers do not have Christ in them. They do not have light in them. They are darkness themselves. They do not bring light into this world. Of those, Jesus also said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 22, The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is clear, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? Do we have the light of Christ in us? Do we see Jesus? Do we hear from Him? Are we led by the Spirit of God? And are we doing the works of God? Is our light shining in this world? Are we the light of the world and the salt of the earth? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 verse 13, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has become tasteless, how will it be made salty again? It is good for nothing anymore except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. In another verse it says it's not even good for the dung pile. Many believers are not even good for the dung pile. If we have lost our saltiness, if the light of Christ is not shining through us, and we are fruitless, we do not show the works of righteousness, then we are useless. If we are not drawing people unto Jesus, then we will be cut off because we are darkness. Jesus said that the branch in me that does not bear fruit will get cut off and thrown in the fire. Is the light of Christ shining through us? Are we the salt of the earth? Are we bearing fruit? Or are we ready to be cut off? Are we ready to be discarded by God because we are utterly useless? It is not about your salvation. It is about your fruit. And if we bear no fruit, then we are bad trees. If we have no light in us, then we are useless and we will be cut off. Then the light in us is darkness then we ourselves have become darkness. Is your light shining in this world? Are you drawing men unto Christ? Or are you darkness? There is no more time to play around. The axe is already lying at the root of the tree. And every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut off. 
Is your light shining? Are you bearing good fruit? If we don't, we will be cut off. May Jesus bless you.